Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2020 Longhorn Open. Dean Bear right here from the IRT. We're getting ready for our first semifinal match. Number seven seed, but he's ranked number five in the world. Daniel De La Rosa is taking on the number 19th seed here in this event, but 22 overall in the world, Adam Mania. These two met twice, De La Rosa winning both of them. Uh, Portland, 2018 in the round of 16s, a tiebreaker it took Daniel to move on. And then in Sioux Falls, again in the round of 16s, but two very close games. Uh, De La Rosa, far more professional experience coming from the De La Rosa camp, uh, playing professional racquetball. Uh, De La Rosa tends to get stronger as the rounds go on, so that's a couple things to look for. He has three IRT titles, 13 finals and appearances in 12 seasons on tour here. Very tough for, for Adam and his first semifinal match here, and he has eight seasons on tour. However, Mania recently decided that he's, you know, playing racquetball full time and it's paid off. He took out number three, Andre Perea, and then number 11, Mario Mercado. He served his way all the way to this semifinal match right here, but this is gonna be his biggest challenge. He's got his supporters here, his biggest fans, right courtside, his mom and dad are always here. De La Rosa will look to control center court as he does most of the time here. Uh, and he's looking to establish himself as one of the top players on tour once again. Uh, and he's having fun in the process. You heard it in the interviews before. Two things to look for, Mania's serve and Daniel De La Rosa's retrievability. Get ready to rumble, guys, because this is gonna be a really good one. We're gonna go right to the booth for the start of this first semifinals match on IRT Live. Fabio, take it away. Thank you very much, Dean, and great intro right there. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here and we are about to get ready to watch this first semifinal. Daniel De La Rosa is ready, he is in the dark blue, and Adam Manilla, he is ready, he's in the dark red shirt. So here we go, this referee Scott McClellan is here. And coming up, remember, Kane Wazalanchuk versus Alvaro Beltran after this match. We're ready to go. Daniel, start us off. It's a short serve, second opportunity. Daniel with a high lob nick there. And Mania with down the line shot. Great stuff from Mania to get a side out there. And, you know, I wanted to, to ask uh, Dean about, uh, you know, what to expect out of this match after that analysis. And one of the things uh, that highlighted uh, what you say is experience, Dean, because that's what Daniel has. But you know what? The fire right now in the eyes of Adam Mania is just undescribable, making his first semifinal appearance. You know, one of the things that, that stood out when I interviewed Adam Mania uh, before was he talked about when being a junior, constantly winning, and coming to the Pro Tour and not having that success, uh, you know, and now he's putting the time in on the court, and it's paying off here. And his serve has been tough this entire weekend. And what about the serve right there? A double fall from Adam Mania, a little yeah, disappointed that, right there. That's something you don't see too often as De La Rosa, you know, gets himself back into the service box here. Fabio, what do you expect out of this match? Obviously, well, I gave my opinion. Well, let's see yours. Great serve by De La Rosa. Well... At the first point for De La Rosa right there, as he gets on the board, what I expect really is just for Daniel De La Rosa to, you know, impose his experience. I expect him to win in two. This has been a great run from Adam Mania, but, you know, this is Daniel's De La Rosa's turf again because he has a lot more to prove right now, to be honest, and Adam Mania just have really nothing to lose here. So I expect Daniel to perform and be in the finals. Look at the aggressiveness from Adam Mania right there to rip the first flatty of the semifinals. I want to th welcome everybody into the chat box. Uh, like our post, share our feed. I want to say hello to everyone. We got Pamela De La Rosa in the chat box. I'm not sure if that's the sister. Yeah, it's a sister, Pamela. Daniel. So, uh, okay. saludos, Pamela, de uh, San Luis Potosí. JP Edwards is watching. want to welcome everybody. Todd Boss is watching. 
ProRacketballStats.com. That's where we get all of our racquetball information. Todd Boss, thank you for all you do. That was a skip shot. De La Rosa looks laser focused, uh, Fabio, to be honest. Oh, he does. He knows what he has to do. He looks like all business. That's the look that he's had since yesterday, to be honest. He, he said something very interesting that he's starting to have fun again playing racquetball. You know, and, and you know, for the, for the guys at home that are saying, you know, what do you mean? He's playing on the Pro Tour. How is that not fun? You know, it turns into a job for these guys. You know, they got to do it 24-7 is all they're thinking about racquetball, training and, and playing in matches. That looked like a good shot side wall, front wall. However, everybody on the court said it skipped. <laughs> Well, so. you know, one of the things uh, that I, that I got to say is Daniel had to prove something earlier today. He had a tough match against Eduardo Garay. He he took control of it, but since Eduardo Garay defeated Alejandro Landa, there was some pressure on Daniel to win that that match, and he performed to the tee. Well, Fabio, and, and, and the guys at home know. I, we talked about it at length. Last year, I think it was prior to um, Chicago, uh, Daniel lost at Mexican Nationals last year. And, and that was a big uh, setback for him personally and, and, and racquetballish. And that's a point right there for Daniel De La Rosa. Two serving one now on the head pen scoreboard. And you're right, that came a long way. But you know what? This is a new year for Daniel. Mexican Nationals are coming up again next month. And uh, we'll see how it's a reset for everybody. I mean, you got Daniel in this semifinal and you got Alvaro Beltran in the other semifinal as well. Not a good shot there by De La Rosa, but look at the hands from Daniel De La Rosa. Well, he made up for it, to be honest, and, you know, it's a good point there for De La Rosa. I forgot to mention, Adam Mania is the only American left in the draw, so I want to commend him on that. That's very good for USA racquetball in general, you know, with Rocky Carson, who's usually a staple here. Well, you um, know what? I want to I think that Adam Mania is going to have a great year this year. I mean, you, uh, in the U.S., we got national doubles coming up next month as well. What a shot. Adam and Ia just shot it right to Daniel De La Rosa. Oh, That's Daniel. I, he's got to rip that, Fabio. He's well, got the whole court. Well, listen, he had the whole left side of the court to himself. He I took a chance. It didn't work. I think there's a pro match on the court two courts over. There is a very sick amateur match that people were going crazy over. Screen serve. Second serve coming up from Daniel. So I'm seeing a lot of people in the chat box rooting for Daniel. Please like our posts, share our feed, make racquetball available for the rest of the world and watch these great athletes perform. Not a good shot there by De La Rosa. Mania makes him pay. Sidewall, front wall, sidewall again. And Those Mania tres on the head pen scoreboard here early. Once again, the IRT is at the Longhorn Open here in Austin, Texas. Good pick up by De La Rosa. And a beautiful shot by Adam Mania. A great shot by Adam Mania. The International Racquetball Tour would like to thank all the players that participate in any one of our sanctioned events and those of you who are lucky enough to make it to one live. Special thanks to Soli Kaur and the staff here at the UT Racquetball Club. Wow, another flatty by what Adam a, Mania. What a great shot by Mania. As he takes the lead, four serving three on the head pen scoreboard. Mania taking his time. Great serve, but a great pickup by De La Rosa. Hashtag just a replay. Four serving three on the head pen scoreboard. You know what? Uh, I talked to Daniel before the match, and he told me that he, he, he t he's taking Adam Mania seriously because he saw the effect that he had on his previous opponents, you know, how he defeated um, Andre Parrilla as well, and he saw the serve that he was doing earlier today. That almost looked like a screen serve. What a pickup there by De La Rosa. So didn't get it. Point number five for Adam Mania. And he told me, Daniel, you know what? I saw the serve that he was doing earlier today versus Mario Mercado, and he knew how many aces he had. So he was watching him. He's taking him seriously, and he knew that his serve was going to be tough, just as he's proven right now. 
Yeah, anytime you're taking a serve, a drive serve from a lefty, that's always tough as well. Short serve. Good reset there by Mania. Daniel going for bottom board, six serving three on the Headpen scoreboard. Headpen is not only the scoreboard sponsor of the IRT, they're not just the official ball of the IRT. Headpen is the in, is the industry leader in all things racquetball. Check them out online today, www.head.com slash racquetball. Short serve. Once again, want to welcome everybody into the chat box. Broken ball. Broken ball. As they're warming up a new ball, let's talk about one of our local sponsors here. I want to tell you about Chuck Grisson Law. He's the Longhorn Open's longest standing sponsor, the law offices of Chuck Charles Grisson. Chuck, as they call him here, he's been practicing 40 years. Chuck's the man you need to call. Check out his website for more information. Back to the action on center court. A lot of people flying into the chat box. What a great cutoff there by De La Rosa. Well, that overhead is nothing to be afraid of, but right there, you know what, De La Rosa proving that, because you know he's an outstanding outdoor player as well, so it comes to second nature to him. And a great serve by De La Rosa. Down the line shot, a winner for Adam Ania to get back in the serve. So six serving three in the head pen scoreboard as Adam Mania, I like his poker face, Dean. He looks very, very focused. He's very aware of the court looking at his opponent, so expect good things from him. Oh, had De La Rosa zigging. Another overhead shot by De La Rosa. Unfortunately, it was a skip. So Adam Ania gets on the board once more. Seven serving three in the headpan scoreboard. Straight into. So Adam Ania right now, Dean, is in a five-point run. Yeah, Daniel needs to change something up. But like we talked about in the in the semifinals, uh, I mean in the quarterfinals with Daniel De La Rosa, you know, it doesn't matter the score. He always has the same body language. Uh, that skipped in. It's a good cross-court option there for Mania. Unfortunately, it was a skip. Referee called it. Three serving seven. Let's One, see if Daniel two. DeRosa can get a little run of his own right now. Short serve. Mark, Mr. Mark Gibbs is in the chat box. Mark, we'll see you this Wednesday when we fly into Sioux Falls, South Dakota. There we go, Daniel De La Rosa Beautiful. gets on the board finally, making it four to seven on the headpan scoreboard. Daniel to the serve. Wow, what a great splat shot there by Adam Mania. He had the whole left lane to himself to go for a down the line shot, but yet he took that splat shot, very accurate, very good, He's using his options. Yeah, screen you knew serve. that was coming. I don't oh, know. yeah. I don't know why it was, a, it was a late call, Fabio. It was, but you know it was coming. Daniel accepted it. He didn't go fishing. Side out right there. That was a double fault. Yeah, you don't, you don't see that too often. No, you don't. But here's De La Rosa. Looking for his fifth point of this match game. Little too high, but good pick up there, De La Rosa. Off the back wall. Beautiful shot by De La Rosa. Mania had the opportunity, Fabio. He had. 
But that down the line shot that he took, it was too strong for him. And it came off the back wall, and Daniel was right there waiting for it. So, you know, not a good option there for Adam Mania. He had the whole right court to himself. De La Rosa driving. Ooh, he had had him leaning right there, Fabio. Both of these players with a lefty righty, you know, sometimes you got to jump. This. Both of them are serving so well. They the are. The guy's jumping the serve. And Daniel's, Daniel's Beltran is better than Alvaro's uh, today. At least for today. <laughs> so you're, far. you're right. So far. And De La so, Rosa gets a first flatty. So just like that, Daniel is within one from Adam Mania. Six serving seven in the headpan scoreboard. Yeah, I expected this game to be very close, Fabio. Ooh, Mania just missed that one. He missed that one, and just like that, awards Daniel point number seven. So now we have a tied match. Once again, seven serving seven. Daniel is on a run of his own. Four points. Can he make it five? Short serve. It's a good serve. Extremely different than Alvaro's, huh, uh, Fabio? And just like that, Daniel on a five-point run of his own, and Adam Mania visibly frustrated. Well, rightfully so. Daniel's serving well. Not a good serve right there. But cross court right to Della. He calls encroachment. So Mania is going to come in and ask for an explanation. So Mania is telling him, Adam's telling him, Hey, listen, if it bounces, I can go in. So please watch as if it bounces. So that's a point no. called for, from uh, Scott McClellan. So nine serving seven on the headpin scoreboard. Good pickup. Oh, I thought he was going to take it out of midair, Fabio. Great pass, but a good pickup there by Mania. Skipped it in. Daniel going bottom board there. You might be wondering, how did Daniel De La Rosa get here? Well, he ran up against a very tough Javier Estrada in the round of 16s, but took him out in two, 15-6, 15-4, and then an 11-1 tiebreaker over Eduardo Garay. Two double faults. So let's get back to that encroachment. Three double faults. Let's get back to that encroachment. So what you guys are watching at home, an encroachment call is Adam entered. Uh, he crossed the dotted line prior to the ball bouncing. Uh, that was the referee's call. So you're not allowed to enter there as Adam Mania gets himself back into the box. You cannot enter or cross that plane. That's an invi invisible plane that goes straight up to the ceiling. And you can't enter until the ball um, bounces. So... In the referee's opinion, he went in there early, and, and therefore it was a point for Daniel De La Rosa. And that, that rule is there for safety. Nice return of a shot right there by Adam Mania. That's That rule's in place for safety. It, so is, that a you safe, don't, it is a safety rule, and that rule, just to remind everybody, hasn't been there forever in racquetball. The, the encroachment line has been there for a number of years, but not since ever. There used to be no encroachment line before, Wow, what a dive gets from De La Rosa. Oh, oh. De, La Rosa, De La Rosa knew exactly where Mania was going with that ball. But he had a good read, but Adam Mania placed it very well. And now Adam Mania sets himself for a tied-up match once more. 9-9 nine, nine on the headpin scoreboard. And Adam is changing his serving stance. Now Another he fault serve. Down the line for Daniel. Double bounce, but no, referee doesn't call it. Daniel De La Rosa puts it away, gets himself again in the box. Nine, 
So nine serving nine. I'm expecting someone to take a timeout. I'm not sure who's going to be the one to do it. Uh, just I, I just feel like someone needs it to, to take them to well, the... Up until about three minutes ago, I thought it was going to be Adam Mania when he was down, but now he's got himself back up. So too hard to tell who's going to take that timeout first. None of the players seem that much agitated. What a diving get right there by De La Rosa. Wow. What a shot. I don't know if, it, if someone's going to you know, just want to change their glove. I mean, they've been in there for a while. They're battling. Uh, timeout is needed, Fabio. Yes, it is. Between the legs, De La Rosa. Down the line. Great shot Beautiful. by De La Rosa. Perfect shot. Crowd loves it. I want to share with you a special company with great service, CornerstoneFMC.com. They offer in investment banking services. That's right. They sell money. They have an unlimited supply for those middle market businesses. Contact them today, cornerstonefmc.com, and mention the Longhorn Open. Wow, from Skipped the back, Daniel, but unfortunately, it is a skip, as you call it, Dean. It's so a good play by Daniel. Wow. Mani again to the box. 9-9. Nine, nine. Game number one. Ace. Ace serve. Great serve by Adam Mani. Making up for those double faults right there. Well, I don't know if it makes up for it. <laughs> hey, when you score an ace, you're making up for some past mistakes. There's a pretty big crowd for um, uh, from San Luis Port the Sea here. Oh, yeah. So, so these guys drove 13 hours. Adam Ania. Wow, Adam was looking for the two bounce get. So Del 11 serving nine for Adam Mania. And Adam as you say, uh, Dean, and as Billy Joe would say, it's a pretty good crowd for a Saturday. It is packed here tonight for Super Saturday here at the Longhorn Open, Austin, Texas. Very good ceiling ball from De La Rosa. Crack shot to the right side, and Daniel De La Rosa gets himself in the box once more. Yeah, uh, You know what? With, with the lead that Mania has, uh, some of the shots he's taken over the last couple rallies just have not been a aggressive enough. I agree. Great shot by De La Rosa. He saw where Adam Mania was. Textbook racquetball, Fabio. Well, if you saw Daniel, look to his right to see where Mania was, and he made his choice based on the position of court Mania had. Skipped it in. And De La like Rosa the, ties it up. Just like that, 11-11 on the headpan scoreboard. One more point by De La Rosa, and I think Mania will call a timeout. This is a singles only tournament. Somebody's asking the box if there's a doubles and there's not. This is only singles for the pros. Not a good choice there for De La Rosa. No, he had Adam in front of him. He paid for it. A nice wide angle would have been great shot selection right there. That would have been. So I want to thank everybody that's looking at this match. Please like our posts, share our feed, make racquetball available for the rest of the world when these great athletes perform. Adam Mania, not a good choice himself, skips it in. He had the whole front of court at his disposal. 11 serving 11. Wow. <laughs> I got to commend Adam Mania right there for that shot. He did it masterfully. Another flatty. Incredible. Adam Mania. And wow. a timeout has been called on Uncle, the court. Uncle Adam. Who called the timeout, Fabio? Adam and Ia called the timeout. We're going to stay right here, and we're going to talk about uh, Cox and Core. I want to tell you about one of our sponsors here. They're a wealth management company, and they've combined financial planning 
and investment management to ensure you're on the right track to reaching your financial goals. So whether you're about to retire, take on a new job, expecting an inheritance, going through a divorce, or dealing with any other life-changing event that involves your finances, work with Cox & Core Wealth Management to build a better and more secure future. And I want to give a special thanks to Gearbox for being one of our inside industry partners. Check out all the latest and innovative equipment from Gearbox. Gearbox supports not only the sport of racquetball, but many athletes as well. Check them out online today, www.gearboxsports.com. So Fabio, what do you think, Fabio, so far? Good? Well, so far, I'm impressed with Adam Mania's performance. I mean, he's 11-11 he's against one of the top pros in the world, and I think he's performing to a T. He's made some mistakes, but he needs to learn from him. He's still very, very young. So this is more pressure on Daniel that there is on Adam Ania, but again, Adam is performing very well. So you said Adam called that timeout, right? Yeah, Adam called that timeout. At, he, he was the one that stepped off the court, and Daniel stayed in. He called. He signaled to the referee, and now Adam is back. Interesting. Not many of the pro players call a timeout unless they're at 14. Exactly. Good pick up there by Mania. Del Rosa skips. Still a good timeout for Mania. It is. It paid its dividends. Now Adam is on top once more, leading by one, 12-11, and the head pen scoreboard. I don't know what that just hit the box. <laughs> just a really bad serve. <laughs> Wow, Adam. Wow, beautiful kill shot by Adam Mania. Perfect, right there for him. That overhead, not a good choice for De La Rosa as he hits it. So, Mania, two points away. Drive serve. Great serve there by Adam, forcing Daniel. Just a replay. Hashtag just a replay right there. Daniel didn't execute his shots correctly and he's paying for it. Yeah, that, that ball hit the side wall. I don't think that's the shot he wanted. Definitely not. Good pickup off the back glass by Mania. Right nice. there. That right corner for I, Daniel. I like the way Daniel used his body, open stance to take a, a pin shot. It, it gives Adam no room to get into position to even retrieve that ball. There are ways to make your opponent feel uncomfortable. Those are one of them. That was one of them. Short serve. Is that high lob Nick? Wow. Adam. As, as Daniel checks the floor. So there's an appeal. Two bounce get and it is a peel used. I thought it was going to be a towel timeout, but eh. Not yet, Mr. Frank Alano. Not yet. So Mania back serving. Wow, what a great pickup by oh. De La Rosa. What a great return of serve, Fabio. It was, because Adam and Nia got a little, you know, cutting off guard right there by uh, for Daniel. But you know what? Good return for Daniel. Back in the box, De La Rosa. Walking drive serve. Wow, and wow. again. Wow, De La Rosa just laid out there. But Adam had the perfect answer for that serve as well. As Daniel checks the floor, all seems to be good. Adam has to focus. He has two points to go to win game number one. Wow. 
Wow! What a guess. So a short serve that appealed by De La Rosa. Second serve. It's a good appeal by De La Rosa. Excellent appeal by De La Rosa. Second serve. Another overhead. Wow, what a good pickup by Mania. Skip, skip shot right there. De La Rosa knew that right away as De La Rosa takes back over control of center court. I'm a little amazed that Daniel hasn't taken his time out. Maybe he's waiting for something else to happen, if so. I don't expect him to. Well, after that, he doesn't want to give Adam Mania point number 14, you know, but if, if he does give it up right now, he will take a timeout. Fabio, his serves are really not that effective. His drive serve is not, is not getting in. And his second serve is not, you know, generating the really weak return. Set up off the back wall for De La Rosa. Straight down the line. Mania gets that one. Mania gets a racket on that, but a big setup here for De La Rosa. Beautiful down the line. And I want to tell you guys about these great guys over at Gulf Coast Graphics. Gulf Coast Graphics is the industry leader in vehicle wraps and graphics. As a matter of fact, they're the only shop on the Coastal Blend, Bend certified by fellas seven years running. If you need something pretty printed, these guys got your back. Visit GulfCoastGraphicsSite.com for all your printing needs. What a great rally, Fabio. Best one of the match so far. And what I liked about that rally is exactly what Daniel De La Rosa did right now. He moved his opponent around and made him see every inch of that court. So that's what happened in the previous rally right there. Daniel De La Rosa puts the ball a mile away from Manilla. Daniel gets point number 12. Well, what Daniel's doing is Daniel's really setting his body up early. And it's forcing Manilla to get out of position. It's very effective as a, we have a tied up mat game here. 13 serving 13. Wow, the place is packed, Fabio. It is. De La Rosa. Not a good serve. And now it, it wasn't. Now, uh, he's starting not to catch the, the cracks, like kind of like what happened to Alvaro. Um, but none of his other serves were working, and that has been his most effective serve since. I was expecting Daniel to do a little bit of more driving. Adam. Taking his time. Mania. Wow, what a great shot by Adam Mania to get his first game point opportunity. Just like that, we're at 14, serving 13. And Daniel's not taking his time out. He's counting how much it takes for Adam Mania to get to the serve. Second opportunity for Manilla. It's a good shot. Adam game Mania for Adam game Mania. Number one, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable, Fabio. Huh? Great, great performance for Adam Mania, and congratulations to him for giving such a great game number one here. You know, Daniel had the ebbs and flows, and I really thought that the end flow was definitely going to go to a De La Rosa. Yeah, and again, I'm surprised he didn't take his time out. Even when he was down uh, 13 to 14, I thought he was going to take a time out. He didn't. You know, I, it, is it Daniel just trying to feel his opponent out and he's going to, you know, school him in game number two? I don't know. Well, as we wait for game two, we're not going to take a break. We're going to stay right here. I want to talk about KRP Rentals and Trucking. It's an oil field rental company doing business in the Permian Basin since 2000. They supply mud and water storage, mud mixing pits, transfer pumps, and much more of anyone's surface rental needs. They offer rapid, dependable service, available 24-7, 365. Find them on the web, krprentalsandtrucking.com. 
So while we await the start of game two, Fabio, let's take a absolutely short break. We'll be back right here on IRT Live. RYDF helps us a lot with uh, well, almost every tournament with the uh, hotel. That it's one of the expenses. Without them, I don't think I could go to every tournament to play. Well, I love racquetball and I want to be the best. I want to be one of the youngest players to ever win a title or the US Open. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are live here in beautiful Austin, Texas, UT Racquetball Club here. And you know what? Glad to be here, Dean. Yeah, Fabio, we got to get ready to the start of this second game. And before we get started, I want to let everyone know about where Rollout.com is the official apparel sponsor of the IRT. Rollout offers a complete line of IRT and other lifestyle racquetball clothing. Not only are they the number one clothing company in our industry, they also produce custom racquetball shirts for tournaments, teams, and clients across the, the country. Retail or custom. Shop WearRollout.com today and please support the official apparel sponsor of the IRT. You want an IRT shirt? That's where you get it. Want an IRT hoodie? IRT hat? You got to go to WearRollout.com. Action is ready here, Fabio. Game number two getting ready. Mania serving. So once again, Fabio, what we talked about earlier is serve. Adam and is serve. Extremely deceptive. It's landing. Uh, and, and good things are happening for him. He didn't have many aces right now as he did earlier today. But it has been effective, as you say. Wow. Great wide angle pass. Had Daniel leaning up for the pinch. So one serving zero. So someone talked in the chat box today, obviously, if uh, Kane wins and Adam wins, we will have a all lefties final. And uh, someone said, I don't know if that ever happened before. Might be a little premature. Mania has to win another game. And Kane is yet to take the court. I thought that was a two bounce get. Oh, De La Rosa right down there. the line. Well, didn't... Uh, didn't uh, Kane ever play uh, Cliff Swain or Woody Klaus? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe, maybe Cliff Swain. Or Woody Klaus. He was a lefty. Mania gives uh, De La Rosa a setup. Come on, De La Rosa, you gotta put that ball wow. down, and he does. Wow. Every ball is up, and Mania is right there to get him, Fabio. Well, good shot there by De La Rosa, biting that right corner. Not a good serve. Wow, Adam Mania, unfortunate bounce right there for him. De La Rosa gets point number two, but he made an effort to do it behind the back. Yeah, but. Bad results right there. De La Rosa starting off pretty fast. Mania trying to get some good hands there. You know, this happened in early in game number one, Fabio. You know, Mania made a couple of these, these tiny little dinks and, and missed some easy opportunities. If he really wants to become an elite player, he's got to clean up that act there right there. Well, this is a true test for him. Wow, De La Rosa. Point number four. Who this Beltran right there. But listen, Delarosa again, was. Adam Mania has made a statement throughout this tournament, uh, Dean, and his first statement was defeating Andre Parrilla, so he's on a roll. Wow, well, that's a nice pick up there by De La Rosa. Ooh, just missed it. He's been doing that a lot. There's, uh, that might be like a pickleball shot where he kind of short hops it. Well, that could be, but some of this pickleball is is transcending. That's into that's one of the influences of De La Rosa because he's played front tennis for many years before playing racquetball. That's why in his left-handed shot, sometimes he takes both of his hands on the racket. That's tough. Tough. Right into the right wall corner, glass on glass. It happens to everyone, Fabio. As we saw earlier, a couple of whiffs. I think Garay missed one. Swing and a miss, and now Mania missed one. Easy point there for De La Rosa. 
That was a one, two, three rally. So five serving one on the head pen scoreboard. He had a 26 mile an hour kill shot. <laughs> there you go. I like the change up of the serve, Fabio. It's a little bit more pace on the ball. Um, he's not trying that high lob because it's not bouncing the way either him or Alvaro would like it. Not a big fan of that push right there. No, definitely not. Wow, De La Rosa. Beautiful kill shot. Flat as anything. Perfect. He goes back to that high lob. Look at that little cut. That's a Wow, beautiful De La Rosa. Re uh, Re-kill pinch shot. So such a different Daniel De La Rosa in game number two than one, Dean. He's leading 6-1. He never had that lead in game number one. No, um, I don't, and I don't know. I'm, I'm watching Adams breathing, and it seems to be a little bit deeper. So I wonder if, um, if conditioning might come into play. You know, he's not used to playing this many matches at a high level. That was a skip ball. De La Rosa awarded point number seven now. Wow, what a pickup behind the back, De La Rosa. And that was a splat rollout. And just like that, it seems that Adam and e is going to take his timeout. Yeah, and we'll stay right here. Very good timeout. The wheels on the bus were coming off for Adam and e. He definitely needs to reset uh, and get himself back in. Once again, Daniel De La Rosa not coming off the court, Fabio. That's interesting enough. Well, he's focused. That's one of the things that I see about Daniel. Like, again... Was he just feeling him out in game number one? Because right know. now he's just schooling Adam Mania. I don't know about feeling him out. I just think that he, he just, he's got the same consistency to his game. Uh, he, he's not really, you know, giving any takes, so to speak. But anyway, Splathead.com creates cutting edge sportswear that can be worn both on and off the court. You're not looking good unless you're wearing Splathead. Splathead.com also provides sponsorship grants to players and is a nationwide supporter of tournaments. So when you buy Splathead, you're pretty much helping make all that happen. Go to Splathead.com during the Longhorn Open. And use discount code LONGHORN25 and get yourself 25% off your order. And FYI, we welcome my pillow as a partner of the tour. You know the pillows, but now check out the towels. Proudly made in the USA. We all here at the IRT use them, and you should too. Visit MyPillow.com and use promotion code IRT for amazing discounts today. I want to personally thank MyPillow for all their support they've given the tour. You guys really don't know. You know they help the US Open. They help the IRT. But back to the action here. The ball hit the box, and that's going to be a replay. So Daniel is up eight to one, the head pen scoreboard. He's going to look to keep that pace right now. Let's see what serve he does. Oh, that's a mid lob right there. Short serve. Short. Second serve coming up. Not a good serve right there. Too much space. But look at that shot right off the back wall from De La Rosa. But he makes it work. Adam Mania hitting the ball too hard, coming off the back wall. Gave Daniel a setup. Daniel took advantage. He had options. He went for the cross. Daniel's serving relatively quick, Fabio. Good pickup. This might be tough. Yes, it is. Again, off the back wall. Cross wow. court. A winner for Daniel a De La Rosa. Beautiful cross court by De La Rosa. He's now up 10 to 1 in the headpin scoreboard. So a very different Daniel De La Rosa in game number two. Yeah, I mean, he's very businesslike here. Daniel's going to jump over this one. But a great shot by Adam Mania down the line. No response from Daniel De La Rosa.
So Mania drive serve. Wow. Can't catch up to that bullet return of Tela Rosa. Good service return there by Daniel. And again, we thank everybody watching this match on their phones or at home. Please like our posts, share our feed, make racquetball available for the rest of the world, and watch these great athletes perform. Wow, what a nice serve. Big setup coming off the back wall for De La Rosa. Right down the line, M Mani is right there. Ooh, not a good shot there by Daniel. Daniel hit that side wall once again. You know, a lot of players are clipping that side wall this weekend. Even Kane was getting it a little bit. Exactly, so I'm sure that Daniel wasn't the shot that he intended to have, but it's the shot that he made. Wow. Daniel. And wow. he shows a little finesse at the same time, Fabio. Yes, he does. So Ten point lead. 11 serving one. Short or a skip? Short. <laughs> <laughs> Second opportunity for Daniel de la Rosa, the San Luis Potosi native. What a diving re-kill wow. by DLR. We might have our first towel timeout. No? Nope. No, oh. not yet. Wow, impressive how Daniel Dobin killed that ball. I don't know if he sweats yet. He's a little too young to sweat. <laughs> He's not that young anymore, Dean. Short serve called. Second opportunity. Wow, good concentration there by Adam Mania as his dad gives a fist pump on the right side fan. His biggest fans are here, mom and dad. Yeah, I was talking to him earlier. He, I mean, he just said that, you know, he's he's proud of him and, and that he's he's finally, his hard work is paying off. Oh, Adam, trying to use some hands there in the left corner, didn't yeah, success. You know, uh, again, you know, you want to talk at it, you know, he, he pulled out game one, uh, you know, he, he's really down in game two. Uh, pressure might be mounting in the head of Adam Mania. Penalty hinder right there. So side out. And Daniel De La Rosa is appealing the call. Call stands. So another appeal used by Daniel De La Rosa. Yeah, so Daniel's... Daniel's like, I'm jumping. I don't think that matters, actually, according to the rule itself. No, you need to give him a down the line or a cross court. So notice Adam changed his serve. He's serving from the middle of the court now instead of to the left side of the court. Oh, what a great serve. Daniel really misread that. He decided... He decided not to cut it off. He stepped in like he was going to cut it off, and then he pulled himself back, and I think that, that was the mistake. Once you make that decision to cut it off, you kind of have to. Well, that's the thing. You have split second and racquetball to make a decision sometimes, and you know every you second guess yourself. Bobby. Oh, every fraction of a second counts. Right there and then there, Adam Mania scores point number three. So three serving 12 in the head pen scoreboard. What Adam Mania with great. point number four. Another nice little slice there by Mania. Deceptive serve there by Mania, but unfortunately it was short. Second serve coming up. Nice re-kill by Adam Mania. Slowly climbing back here. Five serving 12. So Adam Mania on a four point run at the moment.
Another point by De La Rosa. So five points right now on a row for Adam Anilla. Seems that the crowd supporting Daniel De La Rosa. Let's see if he gets some energy from them. Oh, Adam. And he finally misses one. He missed it. You know, that, that serve that Adam did right now in these last few rallies has been effective for him. That C serve to the right. Not a good serve by De La Rosa. Not at all. Oh, and he skipped it in. Again, it doesn't matter how many your opponent has. If he doesn't have 15, you're still in the game. You're still in it. So six, serving 12 on the headpin scoreboard. Adam Manilla. Five points in a row. Not a good ceiling ball from De La Rosa. Not at all. But Mania's shot was off the back wall and De La Rosa back in the box. I, I, he really needs to go back to his drive serve, Fabio. He does. Um, it wasn't landing before, but I think he has to check it again, and we are going to see it. It's a good serve right Skip there. It it's in. a skip ball. So Daniel De La Rosa within two points. Good drive serve, Fabio. It was good. It was effective. Daniel Steele needs two to take this to a tiebreaker. Short serve. Here's where, here's where the trouble comes when he misses that first serve and he has to go to a lob. I, I would like to see him go with back with that half, almost like a junk lob and not the high lob like he's doing. <laughs> but it was effective. Down and the he line. he finds himself with his first game point opportunity here. Daniel De La Rosa wins this. He will go with the serve into the tiebreaker. So, ladies and gentlemen, Adam Mania trying to hold off his first game point. Good pick up there by De La Rosa. Good pick up there by De La Rosa. He's going to just let him shoot, Fabio. Is he going to pay for it? Yeah, he should have He should have been aggressive on that one. Wow, and a Adam. nice reverse pinch. Uh, why the aggressiveness didn't come from De La Rosa on that last one? That last ceiling ball. Wanted to have Adam make a mistake, didn't happen. Beautiful pickup. And here we go. Too far off the back wall, not a good shot for De La Rosa. De La Rosa is hitting his lanes, but they're not close enough to the side wall. What he really needs to do is come on with, with one of those shots needs to be at a wide angle, just to, just to make Adam and Nia think that it may come and, and maybe make a mistake. At the beginning of game number two, Daniel was moving Adam and Nia a lot over the court. He's not doing so right now. Maybe he needs to return to that strategy. Beautiful shot by Daniel De La Rosa. So Daniel again with game point number two. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. De La Rosa looking. I like that he's spinning him around. And he boxed him out. I think now it's 14-7. I think the score was 13. Obviously, we had that wrong. De La Rosa. Mania can't catch up to that one. Game two in the books. Tiebreaker coming up. We'll take a short break. 
We'll be back for the breaker in two minutes right here on IRT Live. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and as you know, my passion is to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. That's why I created my new Giza Dreams bed sheets. I guarantee you they'll be the most comfortable sheets you'll ever own. With the Giza Dream sheets, I'm getting the best sleep of my life. I do not like my sheets. I love my Giza Dream sheets. I guarantee you the first night you sleep on my sheets, you'll never want to sleep on anything else. Go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen right now. Giza Dreams are made with the finest, most sought-after cotton in the world. MyPillow Giza Dream sheets are available in a variety of colors and will be the softest, most comfortable sheets you will ever own. And listen to this. For a limited time, when you use your promo code, Mike will send you a second set of Giza Dream sheets absolutely free. That's two sets of sheets for the price of one. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are live here from Austin, Texas, UT Racquetball Club. For those who are just joining us, Daniel De La Rosa has taken game number two to the max, so we're going to go to tiebreaker. Yeah, right before it starts, I want to take a second to tell you about the great people over at T-Ray. It's a one-stop shop for all your water transfer needs in the Permian Basin. With all the hustle and bustle going out there in the oil patch, you need to count on a dependable company that's committed to safety and service. T-Ray supplies water transfers, light towers, forklifts, and other equipment for any frack job in or around the Permian Basin. For more information, visit trayproperties.com. We have one more sponsor that we need to thank right before this match gets started, it, and it's Thoroughbred Bakery. Voted Austin's best bakery. Check them out, thoroughbred at atx.com on social media and mention the Longhorn Open. You'll get 20% off your next purchase. But the tiebreaker started. 100% committed to racquetball right now, Fabio. Here we go. Good pickup by Adam Mania. De La Rosa with point number one. I expect nothing less than explosions right now on the court because they are fighting to get to the final. It's the same. Only two 11 points for each of these athletes. Skip shot there by Daniel De La Rosa. Zero serving one on the headpan scoreboard. Adam Manilla from the left. Wow. Yeah, I can't catch up to that. So let's see if if um, the uh, experience from De from Daniel De La Rosa uh, takes over here. And I want to welcome into the chat box the one, the only, Mr. Ruben Gonzalez. Ruben, I grew up watching Ruben play in Syosset with Sudzy and Jason and, and Ruben. It's, it's great to see you in the chat box and I can't wait to see you in Sioux Falls. I know you're gonna be there and I want you on the microphone. Big pick up there for De La Rosa. Adam's shots are not hitting right now, Fabio. They're all coming off the back wall and De La Rosa is reading it well. So point it's number three. It's not hard for De La Rosa right now when those shots are coming off the back wall like that. Definitely not as Daniel De La Rosa scores point number three now. Nice little serve right there. Down the line, sidewall, front wall, sidewall again yeah, as nothing Daniel. But nothing, but Mania is in perfect court position right there for any other shot but that one. <laughs> exactly, but just like that, Daniel is up four to zero. I want to thank everybody looking on their phone and at home as Daniel scores point number five here. So 
exactly what we thought of here in the tiebreaker, uh, the De La Rosa show. Um, he's starting to serve well. And he ball. skipped it in. Adam and Ia. Let's see if he can get on the board. Mania. Ace. What a great serve from Adam Mania. Straight shot. Powerful, compelling. Thank you, Mark, for the clarification. Yes, we will see Ruben in Sioux Falls, South Dakota next weekend. Good pickup. Forehand. De La Rosa. Wow, Daniel. What a shot by Daniel De La Rosa. Impressive splat, splat shot on the right side. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and remind them, coming up next, Kane Waslinchuk versus number four seed, Alvaro Beltran, right here on IRT Live. Skip ball. That's a skip shot and point number six for Daniel De La Rosa. The San Luis Potosi native. Currently residing in Gilbert, Arizona. Not a good shot by De La Rosa and Mania. The pressure. Not they a good. look easy, Fabio, but when you're in there, in this rally, it's not happening. Wow, good timeout for Adam Mania. Let's take one more short break and we'll be back, hopefully for the finish of this tiebreaker right here on IRT Live. So we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Game number three as Adam Mania took a timeout. Daniel De La Rosa up top. And now it's eight serving one. Daniel De La Rosa yeah, is just giving a clinic here to Adam Mania. In the tiebreaker. Oh, Daniel De La Rosa with great hands. Oh, my God. He might as well just got the ball with his hand. Nine serving one on the head pen scoreboard. Ladies and gentlemen, we are watching the Daniel De La Rosa show. Short serve, he's gonna appeal instantly. Disagree, disagree. Ace serve, point number 10. Great appeal used by Daniel De La Rosa. Beautiful serve. First match point opportunity for De La Rosa in the service box. And Adam Mania says, not yet, Mr. De La Rosa. I'm still here. So Adam with a big mountain to climb. He has 10 points to go. Let's see if Adam Mania can get himself back on track. Good pick up there by De La Rosa. Seems Daniel doesn't want to give up neither of those points, but Adam and Ia, after that great rally right now, scores point number two. Yeah, the crowd was pretty excited about that rally because both both players, you know, gave it that little extra. Daniel trying to finish it off and Adam trying to stay into the moment here. Screen serve. Daniel wants that one, but it's a screen. Sorry, DLR, but a screen's a screen, and it's always a screen. And it is what it is. Nice stealing ball there by De La Rosa. Big setup with the backhand. And a flat rollout. Good shot. Adam's probably going to appeal that one. I don't see him appealing. He's giving referee that Rocky Carson look. Yeah, sometimes the appeals come a little late. But second match point opportunity for De La Rosa. Going Short for the serve. crack, can't catch it. 
Like I said before, Fabio, I want to see that half lob junk serve from De La Rosa, but he's going to go with the high lob. This is going to be a setup by Manias forehand. De La Rosa is right there. Game three in the books. Daniel De La Rosa will move on. And Daniel on. wins the match with the numbers of 13-15, 15-7, 11-2, and you know what? He just schooled him in the third game. Uh, you know, ab absolutely, Fabio. Uh, you know, you can't you can't say it enough. Both of these players played amazing in their quarterfinal match just to get them here uh, today for the set tonight for the semifinals. But any way you want to write it, Daniel De La Rosa, he owned game three, owned it. He did. He totally did. He just schooled Adam Mania. But you know what? Again, I have to congratulate Adam Mania for reaching his first semifinal. Good for him. Uh, you know, absolutely. Uh, we'll be back. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back with the player interviews uh, right after these few commercials while we get the, uh, the players up here for their interviews. We'll take a short break, and we'll be back on IRT Live. <laughs> So we're with today's uh, semi-finalist, uh, Adam Ania. Adam, you had a great first game, uh, a very tough second game, but Daniel just really put his foot on the gas in the third game. Um, what happened to you uh, in, in that match right there? Well, first off, just want to say uh, good playing on Daniel's part. I mean, he kept the pressure on and he's a tough player. You give him anything and uh, he puts it away and makes you, makes you win it. So uh, hats off to him. and. Uh, he was a good player, and I just uh, didn't have it in the tank there at the end, and he kept on pressing on the gas, so congrats to him. Well, that was, that was my next follow-up question. Uh, you know, late in game two, you did look a little winded. I mean, you're not used to playing this many high-level matches yeah. uh, in a row, uh, so that's some, a little takeaway for today, but Daniel did, uh, did come out well. Your game one serves on the money. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I've been working on my serve a lot, and uh, when it's good, it's good. When it's not good, it's not so good. So uh, I'm just back home now, get ready for Sioux Falls next week. So, yeah. Well, we're going to see Adam Ania in Sioux Falls. Uh, so, Adam, once again, congratulations on your first 
semifinal uh, appearance. Uh, it was it was a pleasure to watch you this weekend. You've come a long way. Uh, do you have some of your sponsors you need to say thank you to? And I know there's two people and they're very close, so they better be first. <laughs> well, first, I want to say thanks to my parents, of course, like always. They uh, always support me through everything. Uh, my girlfriend, friends back home, I mean, can't do it without them. And my sponsor head, uh, without them, none of this is possible. So big thanks to them. And uh, Look forward to Sioux Falls. See you guys there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the words from Adam and Ia. You're going to see a lot more of him coming up. We'll take a very short break, and we'll be back with uh, Daniel De La Rosa right here on IRT Live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So we're in the winner's circle here with Daniel De La Rosa. Daniel, uh, very tough game, game one. I mean, Adam was serving lights out. It was extremely tough for you. You pulled out game two, but in the breaker, it was the old DLR, foot on the gas. Uh, how did you feel after that, Daniel? Well, first, first of all, I want to congratulate Adam. He was a phenomenal tournament, and I, I have no doubt about it that he's going to be one of the top players if he can play in the tour. And then it's nice to see all those guys because I saw him since juniors and it was like, wow, it's, it's amazing. But yeah, like you say, I, just, uh, have a, I got a phone call for Michelle and everything that I had to do, uh, change a little bit and then it worked and then I win the finals. So Daniel, uh, getting back to your serves, uh, we talked about it earlier with Alvaro Beltran, the high lob serve against that glass it's either going really good or it's going really bad. Um, did you make any adjustments with that? Because your drive serve was not really on, so I saw you leaning to the uh, the lob serve a little. Yeah, I did. I did a little bit of adjustments. I put, take out a spin out of the, out of the serve, but I mean, uh, it works really nice. Sometimes I lift it really short, and I have to be ready because I know Adam, when as soon as he's set up, he's going he's gonna to kill it. So, yeah, you make a little bit of adjustments, and it, it works. So, De La Rosa back in the finals. We'll see you tomorrow at noon. You want to say thank you to all your sponsors out there? Yes, of course. I want to say thank you to, uh, to Procanix, uh, Donald, my family in Mexico. They've been watching me all day. And then your sister was in the chat yes, box, just yes, so you know. Always, always <laughs> is in the chat box. But, I mean, I'm really excited. to. I can't wait to see my family. I really miss them, and then I can't wait. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, Kane Waslinchuk versus another... Fellow Mexican, uh, Danny's doubles partner, Alvaro Beltran, will be back for the start of that match in a few minutes right here on IRT Live. <laughs> 